It feels so good to be back in the car. Okay, I was thinking that I would feel fine arriving here at night, and now that I've gotten here, ah, uh, considering how many van lifers there are in town, there's gotta be a place to park that would be okay. Ugh. I'm gonna drink some water, maybe have a snack, and go from there. Normally, I have a lot of reflections and sense a lot about a place when I get there. But arriving here in these mountains, I just felt really quiet. Everything slowed down and I felt a type of stillness that felt like falling into a rhythm of harmony with myself and the nature around me. One of the things I love about life on the road is that life is stripped down to the essentials in a lot of ways. And the things that seemed mundane in regular life take on a new quality. And they don't seem so mundane anymore. But more like a special ritual I do each day. I drove throughout the whole area and every single spot was taken except for there was this like one large area where um, like a lot of larger rigs were set up and there was just like one little spot left that I squeezed into. Then when I woke up this morning, even before I had coffee, I just had this feeling. I saw some people leaving and I was just like, oh man, I hope I can find a better spot. And there was a spot just like right over, over this way that is somewhere that where I've camped before that I was hoping was open, but um, the people are still there. But as I was looking at that spot, I saw this spot and this. I can't, I can't even. It's like a little creek running nearby. So this is Crested Butte, one of my favorite places. And this is one of the most amazing times of year to be here. Because all of these fields are completely covered in wildflowers and it's just the beginning of wildflower season. So the longer I'm here, the more and more and more things are gonna start blooming already. There is so much. It's just absolutely mind blowing how alive this place is. So green, when I opened up my window this morning, <laughs> my brain had a hard time comprehending how green it is. But also just the energy of the land. There are so many little animals that I've been seeing. I saw a stoat earlier, although I haven't been able to get my camera in time to like, 
to get them. There's so many different birds. I have spent so much time now just using the app that tells me which birds are around me and like listening to different bird songs and it's just oh, absolutely phenomenal. Feels beyond amazing to be here. Aspen forests are one of my favorite types of forests. It looks like a bunch of different trees, but technically it's on all one root system. Which means it's like this alive community. Wow. They just have the sweetest energy. Oh dear. I just noticed I have the funniest sunburn. <laughs> I just feel so grateful. <laughs> What's so amazing about nature is it doesn't matter where in the world I go, as soon as I'm just out here, all of the, the concepts, all of the concepts that humans create around our existence and around place and land just disappear and you just belong anywhere you are. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but the sun is starting to go down. So I think we're gonna hike back down and if the conditions are right, I'd love to have a campfire and make some dinner and hang out with the kitties. And it's a little windy today, so I'm not sure. I would love to have a campfire, but if it's a little bit too windy, it's probably not a good idea. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is just so healing. And it's crazy, I, I feel like I keep finding more and more flowers that I didn't see before. Oh, I could live here. <laughs> Can I live here? Like right here, please. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
I can feel myself getting really, really overwhelmed trying to think about how to capture the beauty of this place and to capture all of its elements. It just feels like an impossible beauty to, 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 to grasp, to hold, to capture. It's just so immense. It's like a macrocosm and a microcosm all in one. How do you, how do you capture that? How do you do this justice? Maybe it's not about that. Maybe it's just about witnessing it. I don't know. That evening, it got very cold and even more windy, and I was reminded of how it can be at such high elevations, even in the middle of summer. Is it too windy, Bubba? Is it too windy? Is it too windy, Lil? More and more, I've been realizing that I really need to spend time completely by myself. And not just a few hours here and there, but like days, even a week or more. And that being alone may be one of the single most empowering, but also restorative things that I can do for myself. Over these days, I felt myself really recalibrating to myself. And it felt like coming home to myself in a way that I haven't really known for a long time. Bubba, you have not moved. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, Bubba boy. Such a love bug. He's the biggest love bug. Well, what do you think? You going outside? Well, it's only like 8.15, <laughs> but it's starting to get cold and I have a lot of editing that I need to do. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get cozy with Bubba here. I'm gonna let Lil be out for a little bit longer, but I actually have to be quite careful. This morning, early morning when I got up, immediately let her out and I looked up and there was a fox <laughs> watching her <laughs> not too far away. I just scooped her up and put her back in the car. But, um, yeah, I'm on Fox Alert. <sighs> but yeah, I think I'm just, I think I'm just gonna get really cozy and do some editing and then pass out nice and early so I can maybe get up and watch the sunrise or something. <sighs> so grateful to be here. It's so lovely. What do you think, Leo? Was it a good day?
things covered in frost. The tundra hurt the flowers. Feel the frost. The next morning, I awoke to what sounded like a symphony of bird song and a clear blue sky day. As I sat in the sun under the mountain with the birds chirping and the little stream babbling away in the field, I could feel more and more layers of me slow down and really finally be able to soften. And that is exactly what I needed and I think a big part of why I decided to come here. Remember when I said that this is one of my favorite times of year to be here? It's amazing to think that the flowers I saw are only a fraction of all of the flowers that bloom throughout the summer season here. Each day, I spend a lot of time looking for new flowers and exploring different spots that might have a flower I hadn't yet seen or identified. Honestly, most of the days I was here in the mountains, I didn't really film anything or like at all and just let myself be. But guaranteed, almost every morning started a little bit like this. Good morning, Mel. Hi, bunny. Hi, bunny. <laughs> I want to snuggle, but I've got a bubba. Look at the bubba. You're stepping on the bubba. <laughs> Cubby, oh, sweet boy. <laughs> Bill, you're sitting on Bubba. Oh no, no. Oh no. Well. Oh, <laughs> that was coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Are you 
said you lost your spot. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Oh my goodness. It got cold last night because I have to pull out the sleeping bag. I haven't had to do that in a little while. Baba, you look so upset. He is literally just staring at me. Like, <laughs> give me a snuggle spot. All right, Bubba, come on. You want to go? Good boy. Oh, good stretch. Do you know that, man? Incredible sweet thing ever. Bubba always just wants a good snuggle spot. I'm like so excited because all the morning birds are singing. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pull out my Merlin Bird ID app in here, and maybe I'll get a new bird that's singing. It's been happening more frequently where they'll both snuggle with me. The other day, I'm not even kidding, it was like Bubba was a little spoon with me and then Lil was sp was sp spoony with Bubba. I think one of my favorites too is when Bubba's on one side and Lil's on the other and I just feel like a mother of twins. The only problem is, is that I know for a fact I probably stay in bed on average like a good half an hour to an hour longer than I normally would because of the cats, you know, like you just like, well, I can't move, you know, I can't disturb this precious creature. Although he looks so annoying. Baba, are you annoyed? What's going on? So super lovely morning. A um, little bit of a different plan for today. I think I want to go into town. There is a few coffee shops, bookshops that I want to check out and maybe do some editing. And then in Crested Butte, there's an amazing charity shop where pretty much everything is by donation. So you can take five things, 10 things, donate $10, donate $50, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I have a few things that I want to drop off and also kind of excited to check out and see what they have. I have found the most amazing things at this shop in the past, so it's kind of exciting. But first, I gotta get everything packed up and then put away, make the bed, get the kitties all set up. <sighs> and yeah. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Well, Lil, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> and nothing I don't think I found anything for myself but I love that I love having friends that are like totally down like if I go to a thrift store or a free box or something and I find something that th I think they might like that I that that I can give it to them the only downside is that there's I don't have a ton of room in my car so it's not super ideal to be picking stuff up for other people but that's okay how are we doing Leo luckily it's nice and cool in town today so have, have a lot more flexibility with the kitties. Yeah, it's actually like kind of cold. So now I'm gonna run into the food store. I wanna go downtown, check out a few coffee shops, and I need to get I need to get a Crested Butte sticker for my storage topper. I've been getting stickers for every place that I go, and I definitely need to get one from here, so. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Thank you. 
whole change in plans. And this is what I love about road life. I went back to the campsite and I was just hanging out there and I just had this gut intuition, this gut feeling that it was time to go. <laughs> and, and so I'm leaving. Just packed everything up. Cats stretched their legs and yeah, now we're, we're going. I had originally planned on being here, or at least in this area, for a few weeks. So to leave only after about a week felt a bit sudden and definitely meant some big changes in the overall idea of what I thought I was going to be doing. But if there's anything that I've learned, it's to trust that inner knowing when it speaks to me. And little did I know I couldn't have left at a more perfect time. But that story is for the next episode. As I drove up and over the mountain pass and through the wide valleys, I found myself crying a lot. But the good kind of tears. The ones that come when you're in a state of awe and wonder and a lot of gratitude. Wherever you are in the world, my wish is for you to find moments of solitude and stillness from within, no matter how long it's been since you've last let yourself connect that way. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Sending my love.